Aisha Deshmukh and currently I am studying in MIT OE, pursuing my electronics engineering degree and I am in third year right now. So today with me I have Gurpreet Singh. So Gurpreet, let's just introduce yourself in briefly first. Okay. And first of all, thanks for uh, calling me here and, and taking my interview. So uh, about me, my full name is Gurpreet Singh. I belong to Jammu and it is in the Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, I am currently pursuing my B.Tech from MIT AOE only. And my I am in currently fourth year and my branch is information technology. So this okay. is about me. Yeah, fine. So Gurpreet, just tell me that in this uh, situation of COVID-19, like it was locked down for almost two years, right? Yeah. So how did you manage to focus on your studies? So uh, the lockdown started when we were in uh, second year. So uh, that time I was focusing mainly on the uh, my interview part only and my preparation of aptitude only. So from that time I uh, make uh, the schedule of my study. And first of all, I have done my aptitude. I have to uh, took uh, around two to three months for prepar preparation of quantitative and reasoning part. Then I focused on the interview part also. Like uh, I have watched some video of the uh, different companies like geeks for geeks also provide these and uh, many others like the surkas are also have recorded some of the videos from previous uh, interview so i have watched that and taken the uh, taken the overview that how the companies are taking interview and how how they are asking to the student how uh, from which part they are focusing main on the interviews so i uh, then i make a schedules of data structures and other part so I started in the whole uh, COVID situation and I started that part. So this is about my COVID uh, lockdown and I have studied it. Okay, okay. So was there any particular routine you was uh, following or uh, something like that? A particular routine, I can't say, but I was mainly focusing on the aptitude in the morning. Then I was focusing on the data structure and in the evening other subjects like our uh, main subject of computer science, which are asked in the interview, like uh, operating system. Then we have a DBMS and our uh, computer network. So these were the subjects which I was focusing mainly. OK. So as we all know, there is a particular pattern or interview process. So yeah. was there anything different uh, in your company while you were giving interview? So like in, yeah. So in Mini Orange, uh, the company which I have selected, I have been selected. So their uh, interview, the first step is their uh, only aptitude part. Then we have a, a technical interview. The different one is uh, the other companies having a last interview as their HR interview. But in Mini Orange, the last interview is also of technical. Like uh, in the second interview, second interview was of a technical part only. And the last interview was also a technical, but it was taken by a senior software engineer who was working in the Mini Orange. So this was a different part in the mini Okay. So for the IT branch student particularly, uh, how would you guide them on the basis of particular examination or interview? Uh, like what should they practice or what should they go through uh, for getting into any company? So the main thing I, I, I want to tell them that main thing they want to focus is on data structure and the subjects which are they are studying particularly in their engineering like a uh, comp uh, computer network, then operating system and the uh, DBMS. The main subject asked in the interviews are the DBMS and the data structure part. And uh, some of the live coding is done in the interview. If the person is good in the arrays and or data structure like linked list, and uh, if I say for a uh, linked list and a stack, stack and queue, and if they are good in this part, they can clear the interview. And uh, other than the DBMS part, if they are uh, gone through the basics and they know what the teacher has taught, it, taught us in the college, then they are good to go. They can go for the interview and they can crack that. Other than these operating system, they should know the basic. They are not much companies who will ask from the operating system and computer network, but the companies which are, uh, are in the part of this computer network, like uh, NVIDIA, we can say, or we have uh, Cisco, these companies are mainly in the um, computer network, but the uh, com the for the software engineer like companies mini orange they mainly focus on the data structure, uh, and this is about these. Okay. 
I would like to ask you for CGPA, like current CGPA. So my current CGPA is nine point two nine. Good. So your CGP is nine point two, right? So yeah. I would like to uh, like. Would you like to uh, give some? Uh, there are students like uh, who have less than seven or eight CGP. Back in their mind, they think that they are not efficient or good enough for uh, like interview or whatever the process is. So would you like to guide them? Like how would you like to guide them? So the first thing is the companies which will be coming in our college. Their first uh, first criteria will be. The CGPA should be above six point five. So uh, I I can say that all the student will manage to have the six point five. And if you have a six point five CGPA is not good, no problem with that. CGPA is not good. If you are having a good hold in data structure and the subjects in computer uh, computer which we study, if you have a good uh, concept in that, if you can explain that interview that you know very well in this particular subject, then. CGPA will not matter. CGPA will matter only the, in the first phase, which is just to find whether the student is having a above six point five. So if the student is having above six point five, they are good to go, and they should manage. Uh, now the student who are going to sit in the interview, they should focus on the subjects which they have studied, like data structure, the subject which I have told earlier. So that are the main funda for the interview. Yeah. So as you said that you practice aptitude and quantity and co uh, that questions. So yeah. did you refer to any particular book or site? How did you practice that? Uh, so if I say for aptitude, uh, the first thing I have uh, taken is of B Tech Guru, the quizzes which they have given us, uh, college given us. The second thing is of a YouTube video. We have a very famous channel like we can say Carriers. Uh, its name starts with career. I don't know the full name, but that is also a good channel. So students can go through that and uh, do complete the part of uh, aptitude. Mainly focusing on the aptitude, they should focus on the uh, like uh, uh, quantitative and reasoning. These are the main thing for the aptitude. And uh, for the coding part, I have referred the Geeks for Geeks. I daily practice three to five, uh, three to four questions on the Geeks for Geeks. Like uh, the topic which I have studied, like uh, if I have done the uh, link list, I will go the geeks for geeks. I will complete two to three questions of basic and uh, basic and the medium level. Then I have done uh, coding from there, geeks for geeks. And uh, other than that, I have followed my teacher's notes also, which uh, the college has taught us uh, during our uh, semester. So that is also helpful, more helpful for me for practicing and revising revising the things which I have studied. So this is the main thing. Yeah. Okay. So apart, I would like to ask you one more question. That apart from uh, all this aptitude and yeah. uh, technical knowledge, were were they also judging us or interview in the process of interview uh, on our body language or the way we speak, or is there any compulsion to speak in a particular language like English or something like that? Hmm. I think they they will be the interview will be done in the English only. Now uh, we will be uh, like if we are working in a company, the client mostly will be from out of the country, like they are from the USA or Europe country. So they should be judging that you should be knowing the basic of English. They don't want that you should know the high five English. That they will not be judging, but you should be talkable in the English. That is the first thing. The second question is, uh, what you asked for the second question? I. I Forget. Uh, like, uh, was there any body language criteria? Yeah. I think in the online interview, they will not be judging on your body language because you are not whole visible to the uh, whole visible to the uh, interview. So they will be looking at your hand. They may look at your hand gesture whether you are uh, giving us that particular action or not. But mostly, they will not be judging on that particular thing. The the uh, primary thing they will be judging is on your knowledge, the whether you are able to give them a right answer or not. Okay. Yeah. So my last question to you is like uh, on your personal experience, how would uh, like throughout your degree, uh, would you like to give uh, some uh, like uh, tips or what do you like? Uh, would you like to guide the uh, upcoming batch? So the first thing is they should focus on the studies. Rather than uh, focusing on the other thing, uh, the life is for other things. So you can focus on that after your uh, graduation, when you are settled in your life. The first thing is on studies. The in studies, I think if you are preparing for a technical uh, technical job, 
like I, a software engineer. So you should focus on the main subjects of computer, like data structure, DBMS, computer network, and operating system. If you are good in these four subjects, then you can crack any interview, even of Google also, because Google will also ask from the data structure only. If you are good in data structure, you can go for any interview. So you should be thorough with these subject and you should have a good hands on the uh, computer uh, programming. You can pick any language, whether you can take uh, Python, C++, Java, any language. There is not any criteria from any company that you should be knowing this language only. So you should be knowing any one of the language and you should have a very good experience in that particular language. Even the OOPS, OOPS concept should be known to you. Then uh, data structure should be known to you. So these are the things you should know. And you can go for any company and you can crack the interview. So these are the things. Okay. Thank you. And congratulations to you. To the, uh, like yeah. And all the best for your career and future. Thank you. Yeah, it was really you. good to talk to you. Yeah, thank you so much for calling me here. Thanks a lot.